Well, welcome, welcome everyone to this evening's service. We are on the eve of a new Hebrew calendar month, so Arab Rosh Kadesh Tammuz. Tammuz is the new month that we are moving into. So we're going to talk about the month of Tammuz. Um, any historical points to bring up? holidays. Um, then we will read our usual monthly scripture, and we're also going to have an altar call as well, and also Holy Communion. We offer Holy Communion as the first Shabbat of every calendar month, and that would be the Gregorian calendar, and also on the beginning of a new Hebrew calendar month. So welcome everyone. This is the evening service before the month of Tammuz begins, and it is for Waymaker Messianic Jewish and Christian Center in USA, Arab Rosh Kadesh Tammuz, everyone. Before we begin anything, I want to open up with our opening prayer and invite the Holy Spirit in to guide and teach us and lead us in this entire service. Avina Malkina, our Father, our King, we thank you. We thank you that you have brought us to this time, to the eve of a new month. And we thank you that you continue to give breath in our lungs and you bless us. And we love you. We worship you. We adore you. You have told us this is a Moedim time that we need to observe as well. And we are here to do just that. We ask the Holy Spirit to come and guide us and teach us and lead us in this entire service and to to bless us with your presence and we ask this in the mighty name of yeshua hamashiach jesus christ amen and amen okay so we are going to go into the bible right away and go into numbers chapter 28 starting with verse 11. Um, this, this segment is entitled Rosh Kadesh New Moon, and we are on the eve. Um, we are on that new moon and the new month being Tammuz. On the first of the month, you are to present to Adonai a burnt offering of two young bulls, one ram, and seven flawless male lambs, eight year old, with three tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil, as a grain offering with each bull and two tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering with a ram. And with each lamb a tenth of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, a burnt offering as a pleasing aroma, an offering by fire to Adonai. Their drink offering shall be for bull half a hen of wine and a third of a hen of wine for ram and a fourth of a hen for lamb. This will be the monthly burnt offering at each new moon throughout the year. Also one male goat as a sin offering to Adonai, beside the regular burnt offering is to be offered with its drink offering. And we don't offer, we're not doing sacrifices with animals and, and such, but we do observe these appointed times, these Moedim, and this is an appointed time. And this is Rosh Kadet, this is the eve um, of to Moose. And Rosh Kadesh is the head of the month or the beginning of the month. It's the name for the first day of every month. And then we add the Hebrew calendar name of the month. So it's Rosh Kadesh Tammuz. We just are ending Rosh Kadesh Sivan. And Tammuz is going to begin on Friday. June 11th, and it will be uh, until June 9th is the last day of Tammuz. I'm sorry, July 9th is the last day of Tammuz. So we have from June 11th, 2021 to July 9th, 2021 is the entire month of Tammuz. And then we will begin the month of Av, which is the next month after Tammuz. Okay, to get into a little bit of history about Tammuz, it can be spelled with two M's or one M. Um, we're using one M. Um, it is the 10th month of the civil year, but it is the fourth month of the ecclesiastical year on the Hebrew calendar. 
So um, when we begin the ecclesiastical or the biblical year, it begins with Nisan. So we are now into the fourth month, which is Tammuz. Um, but when we begin this civil year, it will begin with Tishrei. And that's where Rosh Hashanah is. A little bit about the month of Tammuz. Um, it is a 29-day month, and it occurs on the Gregorian calendar between June to July. So the name of the month was actually adopted from the Assyrian and Babylonian month, Ara Dumazu, and it's spelled A-R-A-H-D-U-M-U-Z-U. Um, the only observance we have is on the 17th of Tammuz, which is a fast day from one hour before sunrise to sundown in remembrance of Jerusalem's walls being breached. And that will fall on June 28th. So in history, on the 3rd of Tammuz, in 1272 B.C., Joshua stopped the sun, and this is noted in the book of Joshua. Also, um, on there, there's a lot of rabbis that are mentioned here. Um, there was a death of uh, Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson on Tammuz 3, and Tammuz 4 was the death of Rabbeinu Tam. Now, Menachem Mendel Schneerson was in, in 1994. That was actually in the 20th century. And um, Rabenu Tam on the 4th of Tammuz was 1171. On Tammuz 4 in 1286, the mayor of Rothenburg was imprisoned. And Tammuz 5, 592 BC, Ezekiel received. His chariot vision, which is seen in the book of Ezekiel. Tammuz 6 in 1976 was Operation Enteb, and that's spelled E N T E B B E. And Tammuz 9 in 586 BC, Jerusalem's walls were breached by Nebuchadnezzar, a date observed as a fast date until the second breaching of Jerusalem's walls by the Roman Emperor on by the Roman Empire, I'm sorry, on the 17th of Tammuz in 70 CE or AD. And then we have um, between the 12th and 13th of Tammuz in 1929, there was the re release of Kabad Rabbi Yosef Yitzhak Schneerson from prison in Kostroma, Soviet Union, observed by Kabad Hasidim as a holy day. So that congregation actually observes that as a holy day. The 15th of Tammuz in 1743 was the death, the death of Chaim ibn Attar. And the 17th of Tammuz in 1312 BC, the golden calf offered by the Jewish people uh, during the 40 days after the giving of the Torah at Mount Sinai. This is the first of the five national tragedies that are mourned on this day. Um, also on 17th of Tammuz in 1312 BC, the smashing of the first tablets by Moses because of what Benaya Israel had done. In Tammuz 17, 586 of Korban in Solomon's temple were discontinued and Tammuz 17 the walls in 70 AD, the walls of Jerusalem were breached by the Roman army and also at the 17th of Tammuz uh, in 135, the Roman general Apostomus burned the Torah and placed an idol in the second temple, Bar Kokhba revolt. And the 21st of Tammuz, uh, 1636, the death of Kabbalist Baal Shem, Elijah Loans, the grandson of Yohanan, Luria of Josel of Rosham, and author of Michal Yofi, Amsterdam, 1695, Commentary on Ecclesiastes.
and also on the 21st of Tammuz 2020, the last remaining Jews of Yemen are captured by the Houthi militia. So that was most recent um, in 2020. Um, in Tammuz 22, we have in 1792, the death of Shlomo Karlin, and the 23rd of Tammuz in 1570, I'm sorry, the death of Moses ben Jacob Cordovero, and the 26th of Tammuz 2005, the death of Rabbi Shlomo Zev Zweigenhoff, and Tammuz 28, 1841, the death of Rabbi Moshe Teitelbaum, and 29th of Tammuz in 150, the death of Yohanan Hasandlar, and then Tammuz 29, 1105, the death of Rashi, and 29 Tammuz 1940, the death of Zev Jabotinsky, secular observance by Israel as Jabotinsky Day. Um, so that is the the month of Tammuz in history. We also, um, it is believed the birth and passing of Joseph, uh, 1562 BC, um, and then uh, actually 1452 BC uh, was his death. The, the birth is 1562. Um, that is felt uh, that happened in the month of Tammuz. And we know um, Jacob was the child that the first child born of Rachel and he passed away on the same date 110 years later in Egypt and some additionally sad history the Seville Jews were massacred in 1391 on June 6th um, corresponding to, to Rosh Kadesh Tammuz, a, a mob incited by a fanatical priest, Moran Martinez, actually killed 4,000 Jews in Seville, a city in the Spanish kingdom of Castile. The violence soon spread throughout Castile and the neighboring regions, resulting in the murder of forced conversion of tens of thousands of Jews. And that happened over and over and over again. Um, and it just... Um, was so unnecessary because conversion of Jews does not need to happen. Um, coming um, into um, salvation, accepting Yeshua just completes a Jewish person. They do not need to become a Christian because as we know in the book of Ephesians, we are to be Jew and Gentile in one body. We're together. We're one family in the family of God. So unfortunately, a lot of people lost lives for no reason at all. Um, that conversion did not need to happen. Go with me now to Ephesians chapter 2. We're going to go to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 11. And in the Messianic Jewish Family Bible, Tree of Life, version, the TLV. It, this section is entitled Jew and Gentile, One and Messiah. Therefore, keep in mind that once you Gentiles in the flesh were called uncircumcised by those called circumcision, which is performed on flesh by hand, at that which time you were separate from Messiah, excluded from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now, in Messiah Yeshua, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of the Messiah, for he is our Shalom, the one who made the two into one, Jew and Gentile into one, and broke down the middle wall of separation, so that the two would not be separated. Within his flesh he made perilous the hostility, the law code of mitzvah contained in regulations, he did this in order to create within himself one new man from the two groups, making shalom and to reconcile both to God in one body through the cross by which he put the hostility to death. 
And he came and proclaimed shalom to you who were far away and shalom to those who were near. For through him we both have access to the Father by the same Ruach, by the same Spirit. So then you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but you are fellow citizens with God's people and members of God's household. Now he was addressing the, the Christian community here. Um, you have been built on the foundation made up of the emissaries and prophets with Messiah Yeshua himself being the cornerstone. In him, the whole building being fitted together is growing into a holy temple for the Lord. So we are living stones. In other words, creating that temple that houses the Holy Spirit. In him, you also are being built together in God's dwelling place in the Ruach, in the Spirit. So Yeshua reconciled that and opened and, and, and reconciled both groups to be part of the family of God, both Christian and Jew, both Jew and Gentile, one in Messiah. So we're going to begin our scripture readings um, for this evening. Before we do that, I'd like to say the Shehekienu, Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shekihenu Vekimanu, Vehegeanu, Lazman Hazay. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, King of the universe, who has granted us life, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this occasion of this new month, Rosh Kadesh Tammuz. We usually read Psalm 104 and Psalm 113 and 118. I'm going to also add Psalm 81, and we're going to start with that. Hear, O Israel, for the music director on the Gittite lyre of Asaph. Sing for joy to God our strength. Shout to the God of Jacob. Lift up a song and sound a tambourine, a sweet lyre with a harp. Blow the shofar at the new moon at the full moon for the day of our festival. For it is a decree for Israel, an ordinance of the God of Jacob. He set it up as a testimony to Joseph when he went throughout the land of Egypt. I heard a language I did not understand. I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were set free from the basket. You called out in trouble and I rescued you. I answered you from the hiding place of thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah Silah. Here, my people, I will admonish you if you would listen to me, O Israel. Let there be no foreign god among you, and you shall not worship, worship any alien god. I am Adonai, your god, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my, my people did not listen to my voice. Israel was not willing to be mine. So I gave them over to the stubbornness of their heart to walk in their own counsels. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I would soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Those who hate Adonai would cringe before him. Their time of doom would be forever. But you would be fed with the finest wheat, with honey out of a rock, would I satisfy you. And Psalm 104, Adonai rejoices in his works. Bless Adonai, O oh my soul. Adonai, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty, wrapping yourself in light as a robe, stretching out heaven like a curtain, laying beams for his upper rooms in waters, making the clouds his chariot, walking on the wings of the wind, making his angel spirits, his servants of flaming fire, he set the earth upon its foundations, so it should not totter forever and ever. You covered it with the deep, as with a garment the waters standing above the mountain. At your rebuke, the waters fled. At the sound of your thunder, they hurried away. The waters go up the mountains, then down the valleys, to the valleys, to the place that you assigned to them. You set a boundary to the waters that they may not over so that they may not return to cover the earth. You make springs gush into the valleys. They run between the mountains. They give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. Beside them, 
the birds of the sky dwell. They sing among the branches. He waters mountains from his upper rooms. The earth is full of the fruit of your labors. He causes grass to spring up for the cattle and vegetation for man to cultivate, to bring forth bread out of the earth, wine that makes man's heart glad, oil to make his face shine, and bread that sustains man's heart. The trees of Adonai are satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted, where birds make their, make their nests, and the stork her home is the fir trees. The high mountains are for wild goats, the cliffs a refuge for rock badgers. He made the moon for appointed times. The sun knows is going down. You bring darkness so it becomes night. When all the beasts of the forest prowl, the young lions roar for prey, seeking their food from God. But when the sun rises, they gather and lie down in their dens. Man goes out to his work and to his labor until the evening. Adonai, how countless are your works. In wisdom you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea, vast and wide, teeming with gliding things innumerable, living creatures, both small and large. There ships go to and fro. Leviathan you formed to frolic there. They all look to you to give them their food at the right time. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are satisfied with good. But when you hide your face, they are dismayed. You take away their breath. They perish and return to their dust. You send forth your ruach. They are created. And you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of Adonai endure forever. May Adonai rejoice in his works. He looks at the earth and it trembles. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to Adonai as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God yet again. Let my meditation be sweet to him. I, I will rejoice in Adonai. Let sinners vanish from the earth and let the wicked be no more. Bless Adonai, O oh my soul. Hallelujah. And Psalm 113 from the rising of the sun. Hallelujah. Praise, O oh servants of Adonai. Praise the name of Adonai. Blessed be the name of Adonai from now and forever. From the rising of the sun to its going down, the name of Adonai is to be praised. Adonai is high above all nations. His glory is above the heavens. Who is like Adonai, our God enthroned on high, who brings himself down to look upon heaven and upon earth? He raises the poor from the dust, lifts up the needy out of the dunghill, to seat him with princes, with, prin with the princes of his people. He settles the barren woman in her home as a joyful mother of children. Hallelujah. Psalm 114 is the Passover song. When Israel came out of Egypt, Jacob's house from a people, foreign speaking, Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea saw and fled, the Jordan turned back, the mountains skipped like rams, the hills like lambs. Why was it, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you turned back. O mountains, that you skipped like rams. O hills, like lambs. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a spring of water. And Psalm 115, bless the maker of heaven and earth. Not to us, Adonai, not to us, but to your name be the glory. Because of your love and your faithfulness, why should the nation say, Where is their God now? Our God is in heaven. He does whatever pleases him. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, noses but cannot smell. They have hands but cannot feel but cannot walk, nor utter a sound with their throat. Those making them will become like them, everyone trusting in them. O Israel, trust in Adonai. He is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in Adonai. He is their help and their shield. O you who fear Adonai, trust in Adonai. He is their help and their shield. Adonai has been mindful of us. He will bless. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear Adonai, the small together with the great. May Adonai increase you more and more, you and your children. May you be blessed by Adonai, maker of heaven and earth. The heavens are the heavens of Adonai, but the earth he gave to the children of men. The dead do not praise Adonai, 
nor do any who go down into silence. But we, we will bless that and I both now and forever. Hallelujah. Psalm 116, lift up the cup of salvation. I love Adonai for he hears my voice, my cries, because he has turned his ear to me. I will call on him all my days. The ropes of death entangled me and the torments of Sheol found me. I found trouble and sorrow. Then I called on the name of Adonai. Adonai saved my soul. Adonai is gracious and righteous. Yes, our God is compassionate. Adonai protects the simple hearted. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return to your rest, my soul, for Adonai has been good to you. For you delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I will walk before Adonai in the lands of the living. I trusted even when I said I am very afflicted. Even when I said in my haste, all men are liars. How can I repay Adonai for all his bounties to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of Adonai. I will fulfill my vows to Adonai in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of Adonai is the death of his Kedashim. O oh, Adonai, surely I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your maidservant. You have freed me from my bonds. To you I will offer a sacrifice of praise and will call on the name of Adonai. I will fulfill my vows to Adonai in the presence of all his peoples, in the courts of the house of Adonai, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Hallelujah. And before we go to Psalm 117, I want to address for those who haven't been with us and maybe stumbling across this, this audio video, um, the word Kedashim is a Hebrew word meaning saints or holy ones. So when we read this, precious in the sight of Adonai is the death of his holy ones or the death of his saints. Psalm 117, praise him, all you nations. Praise Adonai, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. For great is his loving kindness toward us. And Adonai's truth endures forever. Hallelujah. And Psalm 118, his kessed endures forever. This is another Hebrew word. It's spelled C-H-E-S-E-D, and it means mercy or kindness. His mercy endures forever, or his kindness endures forever. His chesed endures forever. Praise Adonai, for he is good, for his loving kindness endures forever. Oh, let Israel say, for his loving kindness endures forever. Oh, let the house of Aaron say, for his loving kindness endures forever. Oh, let those who fear Adonai say, for his loving kindness endures forever. Out of a tight place, I called on Adonai. Adonai answered me with a spacious place. Adonai is for me. I will not fear. What can men do to me? Adonai is for me as my helper. I will see the downfall of those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in Adonai than to trust in man. Absolutely. We need more than ever today to be doing that, to not be listening to all kinds of gobbledygook that's going on in this crazy upside down world that we live in. We need to really root ourselves in the Lord. Take everything to the Lord in prayer. It is better to take refuge in Adonai than to trust in princes. All nations surrounded me in the name of Adonai. I cut them off. They surrounded me. Yes, all around me. In the name of Adonai, I cut them off. They swarmed around me like bees. They were extinguished like burning thorns. In the name of Adonai, I cut them off. You pushed me hard to make me fall, but Adonai helped me. Adonai is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. Shouts of joy and victory are in the tents of the righteous. Adonai's right hand is mighty. Adonai's right hand is lifted high. Adonai's right hand is mighty. I will not die but live and proclaim what Adonai has done. Adonai has chastened me hard but has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter through them and praise Adonai. This is the gate of Adonai. The righteous will enter through it. I give you thanks because you have answered me. 
and have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the capstone. It is from Adonai. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that Adonai has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hoshiana, please, Adonai, save now. We beseech you, Adonai, prosper us. Baruch Abba Hashem Adonai, blessed is he who comes in the name of Adonai. We bless you from the house of Adonai. Adonai is God, and he has given us light. Join the festival with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I praise you. You are my God, and I exalt you. Praise Adonai, for he is, he is good, and his loving kindness endures forever. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. We're going to close this portion and come back with part two of the altar call. I always do an altar call with every video that I do. So we're going to close this now. Father God, thank you. Thank you for the beginning of a new month. The, new, the month of Tammuz is, is upon us. Tomorrow is the, the beginning of a new Hebrew month. And we thank you that you have brought us to this month. We ask for your blessings as we approach a new month. Blessings for health, for, for, for happiness, for shalom, for being able to just be in your presence and just that's a blessing in and of itself. We thank you every day we have breath in our lungs. You are our creator and we love you. You are our father and we love you. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, Amen and Amen. And I am at 32 minutes here, so I am going to pause it here. And we will come back with part two.